And the NASA test director, Jeff Spalding, has given approval for the crew to begin entry into the vehicle. Again, the seven-member flight crew uh, ha have arrived at the pad, and they are now in the process of entering the vehicle to occupy their assigned seats. Commander Rick Husband, the first to enter the orbiter, as is the tradition and the custom for the shuttle commander, and he will then be followed by his fellow crew members, each taking their seats in the orbiter's flight deck and on the orbiter's mid-deck. And we have a camera that is stationed in the on the flight deck as we can watch the crew members uh, climb into the vehicle and take their seats. Of course, for the next two and a half hours uh, prior to the opening of the window, uh, once they're in their seats, they will be basically laying on their backs in a uh, prone position. And you can see a husband climbing in uh, somewhat difficult, uh, cramped quarters there. Uh, he has astronaut support people that are uh, assisting him, and they will continue to assist him and the other crew members until they are all completely strapped in. Uh, once they are strapped in, uh, they will do uh, voice checks. In fact, uh, once uh, they are uh, hooked up to the comm system, they will begin those voice checks uh, with uh, ground controllers here at Kennedy Space Center as well as mission controllers at Johnson Space Center. The next to enter the vehicle will be uh, the astronaut representing the Israel Space Agency, Ilan Ramon. Ramon is a colonel in the Israeli Air Force. He received a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Tel Aviv in 1987.